I'm here with Jerome Jennings, SPX product manager, to discuss the design and performance advantages of the Marley Gear Reducer and how they compare to other brands. Describe the Marley fin design and explain how the fins provide better operation than other designs in the market. You'll notice on the Marley there's a lot of external finning here, uh, all the way on the side, also on the back. There's actually 47% more surface area on this Marley gear reducer than you see over on the Amarillo here, which is very flat sided, very boxy, doesn't have nearly the surface area. So when you've got all that air coming up from underneath your uh, fan through the cooling tower, so that's one critical differentiator. What are the advantages of the larger oil ports in the Marley gear reducer? So as this, as this pinion shaft down here, as it's rotating inside the box, there's actually an oil slinger here, it's not shown, but there's a large uh, disc shape. And as that's rotating inside this region of the box, it's actually flinging the oil up into these cavities. And there's a large oil trough right here, as you can see. This is a very generous size. I can actually put my entire finger through there. And it actually comes out through a port here on the side that feeds the pinion cage. So again, huge hole. This allows a good fresh oil to flow throughout the box and keep, the, keep it lubricated and keep it running cool. Also another port up here on top, that feeds some of these other uh, interstage bearings. You can see a large hole here and uh, it works its way through the box and feeds the upper fan shaft bearing as well. So significant port sizes to keep oil moving. And what about the Amarillo box? If you look at the Amarillo design, and this may be a little bit too dark to see, but really the only port they have feeding their pinion is right here. It's very small, kind of dark. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's the only thing feeding their pinion. So they have a similar slinger design, bringing oil up, spills into this cavity reservoir, but it can only really get through this one small hole, through that small hole into the pinion bearing. So significantly smaller port sizes. All right, another uh, feature here is we talked about the oil ports on the inside of the box. This is actually the large holes on the pinion cage itself. So these holes are mating up with that large hole on the, on the case of the box. So it gives good oil flow into this pinion cage to get to the pinion bearings. So another nice advantage of the Marley gear reducer. Tell us about the key characteristics of Marley bearings and how they add to bearing life. Marley's long been known for their bearing life. And uh, here's actually a couple bearings we use in our box. This is a double row bearing for the, this happens to be the, uh, I think this is the lower, this is the lower interstage bearing. And then we also use a massive, and this thing's heavy, it's probably 30, 40 pound bearing for the, uh, for the upper interstage. So you can see these are very beefy bearings, very, very heavy duty. If you come over to the Amarillo box, here's their bearing. They're using just a single row for their uh, lower and upper interstage bearings. So significant difference there. If I bring them over, I mean that's that's quite a difference. I mean Marley's uh, using a very beefy bearing, so that's what gives us the 100,000 hour bearing life, and uh, also contributes to to higher bearing life, particularly on the interstage shaft, uh, which is normally mounted as the shaft connected to the, the pinion in this region. So these these bearings actually give you about three times more life than the equivalent Amarillo bearings on the interstage shaft. And what about the pinion shaft? How does it differ from others in the market? Notice that the Marley pinion shaft is all one single piece. It's one big hunk of metal. You know, it's a significant chunk. Uh, the gear itself is integral with the pinion shaft. It's all one big hunk of metal, so it's got a really strong product. If you come over to the Amarillo design, which is a little bit back here in the corner, you can see that there's actually multiple pieces. So you have the shaft, but then the head of the gear is a separate piece. So it's actually got to be keyed onto that shaft, and then there's a lock washer and lock nut on the back side to keep it all together. Sound level seems to be an important deciding factor for cooling tower operators. How does the gearbox contribute? In terms of sound, uh, the Marley gear reducers got 80% less sound, and that's been uh, proven in actual third-party tests. What are the key advantages of the Marley design compared to other manufacturers? With uh, the Marley design, we actually use metallic steel shims. So these are actual steel uh, to keep all your different uh, settings between with your gears and your bearings. You use the shims to get those proper clearances, and that's we use metal. Amarillo, when we tore this box down, found out they're just using plastic. 
You can see these colored plastic shims. Uh, they're, they're quite a bit flimsier for one, but over time with heat and temperature and moisture, I mean, you're gonna have some potential creep here as the uh, plastic will want to deform and change shape. So that could be a concern. It could lead to a noisier gearbox and it could also lead to more heat generation and it could also lead to, uh, to less life. Thank you, Jerome, for walking through the Marley Gear Reducer features. Tune in to part two of this three-part podcast series where we'll take a closer look at drive shafts.